I honestly have no idea how this video is gonna go, so we're just gonna try our best, and you guys are just gonna have to deal with the shit show that's about to come. When I used to do the two sentence horror stories, I would have you guys tell me all the time to get these certain apps because they were kind of like text almost, like scary story text messages. And I always thought it sounded really lame, I'm not gonna lie, but I ended up downloading Read It, the app, and I've gone through and I've read like two of the conversations and for some reason I'm fucking addicted to it already, you guys. Like I downloaded this app so long ago, but I never, also this is not sponsored by any means trust me. I downloaded this app a while ago when one of you guys told me to and I just thought it was really lame so I never got on it but I got on it like literally two seconds ago and I'm already filming a video because I'm like holy shit I want to read this to you guys. I mean it's pretty self-explanatory they're like text conversations but scary story text conversations and every time you go on the app it's something different. The one that I just read or I, I got off of it which I don't know why I didn't even finish it because I'm dumb but the one I was just reading was like this person's brother was in prison for 10 years it's like the incident and I didn't even get to fucking finish it but I'm here to bring the story to you guys because that's that's what I do, right? You guys have to let me know if you even like this or if you even care for this because this might be one of those things where I think they're really entertaining or maybe it's really entertaining when you read them on your own, but I have no idea if this is gonna be a good video. When are my videos ever that good, honestly? They're usually pretty messy, so should be fine. Also, you wanna see something really sad? In the video I just recorded like an hour ago, my Porg's eye fell off again. His eye fell off a while ago at VidCon because my friend threw him onto the concrete and it just fell off, obviously. But I had him sitting next to me and I was just playing with him. Like I was reading scary stories, so I was kind of like waving him around because I was freaking out and it just fell off. So now I have to glue that back on, but I'm not gonna do that right now because I've already been talking for three minutes. So anyways, we're gonna try to get this shit started. I hate myself. I also don't really know how to do the whole screen recording thing. I've never done that before, but I kind of have to so you guys can see the text messages. This is also gonna be very interesting because I never put anything on the screen when I read these stories. So let me know if you guys like this as well because I could totally try to implement this into my other videos. I mean, I don't know if you guys really give a shit or if it really does anything. But let me know in the comments down below. I really hate myself. I literally don't think I've ever screen recorded actually ever. Oh shit. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, wait. Okay, this is cool. This is interesting. So my background is Ansel Elgort. I'm gonna put it right here. Obviously it was probably already there, whatever. My background is Ansel Elgort. I'm just gonna have to ignore pretty much everything on my phone. Okay, so it's in here. Oh shit. Oh, okay, well, I guess we're back to the one that I didn't even get to finish. So lucky us. So this one was called The Incident. My bro comes home today. Oh my gosh, are you ready? I don't know. How many years now? 10 years ago, he got sent away. Wow, what do you think he's like now? No idea. Last time I saw him, we were just kids. That's how I remember him. Are you excited to see him? No. Why? I don't wanna talk about it. I feel so dramatic right now, but I feel like there's no other way that I can read this. I can't be like, I don't wanna talk about it. Andy, we've been together for two years now and you still won't tell me about Alex. It's a touchy subject. I'm here for you, babe. <clears throat> Sorry, okay, can't laugh at that. I'm here for you, babe. I can't. He was a bad guy. Did he hurt you? Yes. All the time. What did he do? I don't know. Bitch, what the fuck? Andy. Okay, well, he would do things like try to suffocate me in the middle of the night. I remember I would have dreams that I couldn't breathe and when I would open my eyes, it'd be darkness. Oh my God. I would claw, kick, scream, and the pillow would finally lift off of my face and he'd be sitting at the end of the bed, just staring at me. Andy, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm the favorite child, so he was probably just jealous of me. Actually, me when my sibling tries to murder me. Andy, this is serious. Is that why your parents sent him away? No. I never told them about that. Why? They need to know this. You could be in danger. No, I can't do that to them. They're already so out of touch since Alex got sent away. This would just drive them deep into the madness. I'm older now. I can handle myself. What do you mean? They sent him away. They clearly know he's mentally ill. They didn't send him away. The court sent him away. My parents believed the whole thing to be an accident. What thing? Now this is getting a little bit intense. I'm a little bit interested. Actually, I was always interested, but now I'm even more interested. I'm gonna stop talking. The incident. Elaborate. Mia, I don't wanna talk. Oh, pfft. okay, not now. Mia, I don't wanna talk about it. You need to tell me. What if something happens to you now that he's back? Fine. 10 years ago, I was in my room playing with Legos or something. I was eight and Alex was 10. I heard clattering and banging in the living room. Then I heard all this crazy noise, multiple screams. I ran out and my mom was standing there with a knife in her stomach. Alex was standing next to her with blood all over his hands and all over his face. He had this blank stare on his face, no emotion, a bone chilling, serene stare. What? Yeah. She looked at me and screamed for me to call 911, so I did. I told the 911 operator that Alex stabbed my mom. My God, where was your dad? At work. 
My mom was so furious that I told the operator that. She just kept telling the police it was an accident. Is it possible that it was an accident? I don't know. My mom never told me what really happened. Jesus, Andy, that's not good. I think you need to talk to your parents. They're impossible to talk to. They're literally impossible to talk to. They're convinced that that's what happened. Well, what the hell, Andy? You guys could be in danger. Well, we'll talk later, okay? Gosh, my parents just pulled up. Look, are you okay? How's Alex? It's fine right now. He's different. What do you mean? He's quiet, it doesn't say much. I think they really messed with him in there. Can I come by tomorrow, maybe for dinner? I would say yes, but I don't know. Alex just got back, maybe next week. Boo, I wanna see you. Does she mean boo, like boo, or like boo? Boo, I wanna see you, but okay, love you. Sorry, babe, love you too. The next day, bum bum bum. Maybe I'm wrong, M maybe I remember things wrong. What do you mean? He seemed so depressed. Maybe he really didn't purposely try to hurt my mom. I always just remembered as him trying to kill her. I don't know, I, I wouldn't doubt yourself. They probably put him on drugs or something. Have you guys talked yet? Not really, he mopes around and doesn't really speak. Actually, he literally hasn't said one word. He grunts and communicates by saying mm-hmm and uh-huh. Freaking weird, I'm telling you. He's been locked up in a loony bin for 10 years. He's definitely loonier than he was when he went in. Have your parents said anything to you about it? No, my parents have always been distant and somber since he was sent away. I remember my mom and dad being such loving parents. And ever since then, I mean you've met him, they're like depressed robots. Yeah. You guys need to sit down and discuss this. It's not a normal situation, if you know what I mean. I know, but that's the way our household is now, I guess. Well babe, I gotta head to bed. Don't get murdered. I won't. Love you. Love you too. The next day, bum bum bum. This is actually really cheesy. I hate myself for being addicted to these. Andy, Andy, Mia is calling Andy. Andy, my mom and I were just watching the news and it says your mom and dad were brutally murdered. Are you okay? Holy fucking plot twist. I mean, I guess not really. It was Alex, wasn't it? You and Alex are missing. Your bodies aren't in the house. Andy, I need you to answer me right now. What is going on? I'm okay. What the fuck, Andy? What the fuck is going on? Why is the news saying your parents were murdered? Because it's true. Where are you? Driving. Stop giving me one word answers. I need you to tell me what's going on. Where are you driving to? You need to contact the police right now. We're driving to the police station. We? We. As in you and Alex? We? What the hell? Yes, me and Alex. Can you please explain? I will, once I get Alex to the police station. 20 minutes later. I was wrong. I was wrong the whole time. Talk to me, please. Are you safe? Yes, we're at the police station. I'm waiting outside the interrogation room for Alex. I'll have to go in soon. Please talk to me, I'm so worried. What did you do? Did you kill your parents? No, Alex did. Oh my God, he's insane. I'm so happy you're okay. Mia, stop. What? Alex isn't insane. I didn't know this, but Alex has no tongue. What? Are you fucking kidding? Wait, are you actually joking? Oh my god, I thought it was gonna make me pay for the app. I was like, you're joking right now. Wait, what? I have to. Wait, I- Are you fucking kidding? Wait, that's the dumbest shit. I can't even finish the story. Well, we're trying it now for free. Can't believe I just got like a membership with this shit just so I could finish this fucking story. What? The day- The day my mom got stabbed, she was cutting Alex's tongue out because he mouthed off to her. He was defending himself and stabbed her. There's no way. How did the cops not realize his tongue was cut out? They did. My mom had told them he was trying to cut his own tongue out, and when she tried to stop him, he stabbed her. I don't know, Andy. You said he would try to suffocate you at night. My mom was the one trying to suffocate me, and Alex would jump in to help. I never remembered seeing my mom in the room, but Alex would keep the pillow on top of me so I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know that my mom was trying to kill me. Andy, you're getting brainwashed by this maniac. No, Mia. I'm not. He has these scars all over him. My mom tortured him. He tried to tell dad and dad wouldn't listen. I think dad knew, he, he must have known, but he just let it happen. How did you find all of this out, you know, since he can't talk? He wrote me a letter, told me to read it before I called the police. As I was reading it, I remembered something. What, what? One night, I woke up from having a nightmare and I peed the bed. I went to my mom's room to tell her it's just Alex in the bed. He was crying hysterically and ran out when I came in. It was super late. I told my mom I peed the bed and she was furious. She stood up and kicked me so hard that I flew against the wall and got knocked out. When I woke up, I was in my bed with clean sheets. I just always thought it was a dream. Are you serious? Why didn't Alex just tell someone? And why did your mom stop when Alex left? 
I don't know, babe. It just seems sketchy. He was scared no one would believe him. He was in a loony bin, babe. Mom never did to me what she did to him. She always liked me more. I'm also older now and stronger than her. You've got to believe me. He held this in for 10 years. Wow. Still doesn't condone what he did. He should have just told someone. No, it doesn't. But the courts will be sympathetic to his situation. He's suffered enough. I'm going to give my statement right now. Do you need me to come down to the station? Yeah, if you could, please. I could use some support right now. I have nothing left. It'll be okay, I promise. Holy fucking, that's the end. Oh, are you joking? See, okay, it's really cheesy, but they're really, really addicting, you guys, because I would have never expected that ending. And it's like, I don't know, it's so, it's pretty lame. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm addicted to these, and I'm sorry that I'm bringing them to you guys, but you're just gonna have to suffer through it because I like them. Let's read one more. Okay, what is this one called? Does it not have like a name? Just says, I can't even read the name because my fucking screw recording things in the way, but whatever, okay. Mom, I finished school and I'm going home. No, don't go there. Huh? Why? What's the matter? Mom? Lucy, you have to listen carefully and do what I say, all right? Mom, what's going on here? You could die when you get home. What? Don't go there. It's all right, Mom. Uncle's in our house. That's why it's dangerous. What's the problem about Uncle? Also, why are you just calling him Uncle? Why not saying, like, my uncle is there or Uncle Bob? Is there actually I have an Uncle Bob, so let's not call him Uncle Bob. Uncle Rob is there. He's a really good person. Lucy, listen to me carefully. Whether your uncle is there or not, you will die. Uh, so do what I, who replies like that when their mom's like, if you go home, you're gonna die. I was like, ugh, so inconvenient. Actually, that's something I would say. So do what I say, okay? Don't go back home and stay at the front door at your school. Grandma will fetch you. <laughs> Grandma will fetch you, darling. She'll be riding a red truck. If you see it, get on board immediately. I feel like this is gonna turn out really, really horribly. Okay? Okay. Good. Contact me when you're on board. Okay. Stay in your grandma's house until I finish some tasks, okay? Mom, I'm a high school student. I can't skip classes. Soon it'll be the weekend. Soon it'll be weekend. Love that for us. Don't worry, just get on board. Okay. 20 minutes later. Lucy, did you meet grandma? Lucy, Lucy, yeah, mom, I met grandma. Did you left school? What the? I regret being addicted to these. I regret everything I've ever done in my life. I love the grammar. It's beautiful. We love it for us. Did you left school? Yes. Okay, good. Stay for a few days in grandma's house. Okay, okay. 15 minutes later. Mom, grandma asks if you're doing fine. Mom, mom. Sorry, sweetie, had a phone call. Please let her know I'm doing okay. Okay, mom. 30 minutes later. Lucy, did you arrive at grandma's house? No, still going. Really? All right. Okay. Contact me when you arrive. Okay. 20 minutes. What is the point? What is the point of all of these like stupid like filler conversations? I love getting mad at an app for not getting to the point when I can never get to the point in any of my videos. It's awesome. Are you going still? Lucy. Sorry, mom. Fell asleep. Uh, still not arrived. That's weird. You should arrive there by now. Mom, I've never seen this road before and it's really dark outside. Mom, I'm scared. Call me. It doesn't work. The signal's not catching up. Hand the phone over to grandma. Yes. Mom, are you sure you're going in the right direction? Yes. Who's driving the truck? Me. What? You can't drive a car. You don't even have the driver's license. The driver's license. Awesome. Oh my, I'm so sorry. I've sent you the wrong message. Huh? The truth is, your brother's driving it. What? See you soon, sweetheart. Uncle is driving the car. Plot twist. Lucy. Lucy, did you receive the phone? Get off that truck now. I saw your uncle waiting in the house to kill you. This is the lamest story I've ever read. But now he's driving the truck. Lucy, your uncle was in the house waiting to kill you and now he's driving the truck. Lucy, oh my God, Lucy. Get out now. I can't even take this story seriously. Lucy, <laughs> Lucy, Lucy. Hello, sister. Hey sisters, uncle here. I'm sorry that I just completely ruined this entire story. Okay, but the story ruined itself to be completely fair. Your daughter is dead. It's your second daughter's turn. See you soon. See ya soon. See you soon. You've lost your mind. Three minutes later. Becky, where are you now? Convenience store, eating dinner. Just finished after school studying. That's a lot that you're doing at this very moment. Why mom? Come to my office in the 25th floor of the company building immediately. <laughs> 
come to my office in the 25th floor of the company building. The only company building in the whole world, in this whole state, wherever we live. Why? I'm not going home today. So I can stay home tonight alone and wait for dad. And besides, uncle's gonna be there. I can watch television. No, it's dangerous. Mom, I'm a middle school student. <laughs> I can't take this shit seriously, my camera's gonna stop recording. I actually hate that I hyped this shit up because I was genuinely enjoying reading these stories like five minutes before I started filming and this is the fucking shit I get, but I'm leaving it in because it's hilarious, honestly. Mom, I'm a middle school student. I can do anything alone now. Becky, listen to me carefully. This might be shocking news to you, but your sister is dead. What? Who replies like that? Your sister has been killed. OMG. <laughs> That's not true. It is true. It does. <laughs> Can we just like skip through this really fast? We're gonna do a speed round. We're gonna just finish this off really quick. It does? Yes. And we don't know what will happen next. So we must stay together. All right? All right. But this is, oh God. So first you must come to my office. But mom, the building has control and visitor access. I will open the door for you. So don't worry about that. Dad will pick you up with a black truck. So wait and write in when you see it. But just a moment, I'm still eating dinner. There's no time. Get your backpacks quickly and go to the school entrance. Okay, 15 minutes later. Got dad's truck and riding to your office. Good job. Let me know when you arrive at the building. Okay, 20 minutes later. Becky's still going? Becky? Sorry, mom. Just woke up from sleep. I was tired. Mom, I just arrived, but it's not your building. Mom, I just saw uncle. Why is he holding a knife in his hand? Why is he coming towards me? Help, who thinks to text at that point in time? Run, Becky, run! <laughs> Becky, are you alive? Becky, Becky, Becky! Hello, sister. Your second daughter is dead. Now it's your turn. See you soon. Are you crazy? Why are you destroying my family? And why are you ignoring my call? Sis, I'm in airplane mode. Sis, I'm arriving at your building. See you soon. Come if you want to. I'm calling the police. Sis, police is no use for me. I'm at the front door of the building. I've called the police. Come if you dare. I'm at second floor of your building. <laughs> what? That door is not allowed to be entered by anyone. Third floor. What? Are you seriously? Why are you going up so quickly? He's trying to kill you, mom. Are you dumb? <laughs> I'm riding an elevator. Wait, okay, that's actually kind of funny, not gonna lie. Hey, elevators don't operate at this hour. They've already turned off the power. Fifth floor. So now you're skipping two floors at once? Eighth floor. Twelfth floor. 17th floor, 23rd floor. Hey, that's impossible. How could you go up so fast? Why is that her concern? Are you really human? Sis, I'm at the 25th floor. Sis, I'm at the corridor. Police has arrived. They will capture you. We'll see who'll win in the end, you murderer. Police is no use for me. They will be exploded by the mine. <laughs> they will be exploded by the minefield beneath them. Prove it. Me, okay. I'm gonna kill all of them. Prove it. Pussy, you won't. OMG. <laughs> no, there was a minefield. Damn it. <laughs> Who wrote this story? Like this has to be a joke. Like this has to be a troll story. There's no way that somebody actually wrote this and they were like, oh my God, this is gonna get them. OMG, no, damn it. Sis, I'm at the door of the office. I can't wait to meet you. I'm calling more police. I'm calling more police. You will not get away with this. Sis, I already told you, police is no use for me. Peekaboo. Two days later. Hey, did you hear the news? What? A serial murder case targeting a family happened two days ago. Really? Yeah, a young man murdered his two nieces and his sister and hid it in a truck. He hid it or he hid the bodies in the truck. I heard there were also two family members who helped this murder case. That's horrible. I guess those three people who committed this murder case are all psychopath. All three of them are psychopath. Just one. I guess. Oh, by the way, where are you? Inside my truck. What? What's the problem with driving the truck myself? Hey, are you watching your cell phone while driving? I'm at the gas station. I stopped the truck. Think first, bud. I don't do that sort of thing. Well, in that case, that's a relief. By the way, it's not safe to ride a truck in this middle of night. There's even a rumor about a curse called the truck's curse that when you ride a truck at the middle of the night, you could get killed. There's no such thing as curse. How can you make a curse with just one murder case? Well, it could happen. Give me a break. Nothing's gonna happen. I filled up the gas, talk to you later. 10 minutes later. How's everything going? Where are you? Oh, sorry, woke up from sleep. What is this grammar? Who are these people? You slept while driving? 
Huh? Uh, what is this place? Damn. I'm in front of the cliff. I can't see anything. And where's my truck? You didn't drunk while driving, did you? Holy shit. Hey, somebody's holding a gun and approaching me. What? Fuck. I'll talk to you later. God damn it, you guys. This doesn't- this is not a real thing. This is not a real story. If I ever come back alive, what are you talking about? Hey, you're kidding, right? You're just doing this to scare me, right? Five minutes later. Hey, you're really scaring me. Wells. Wells. Hi, daddy. Oh my god. Oh. That was the end? I'm so confused. What was the point of that entire story other than they have horrible grammar? Who is Wells? Who killed Wells? Who, who's Peter? Where do those people come from? What do they have to do with any part of the story? <sighs> I don't fucking know. Because I don't think they were related because I think they would have known if they saw a murder case who the people were that they were related to them. Or maybe if three of their family members died and then there's a murder case, they like connect the two. So I don't know where these men came from, but that's okay. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really don't know what the fuck this was. This will be interesting. If you guys want more of this for some reason, well, I'm gonna have to pay $4.99 a week. So you guys better like this shit, honestly, if you really want me to do more of them. I just, I don't know how I happened to read like three really good stories and then I start filming and they just turned to absolute shite, but that's okay. Did you like this story? I'm gonna give it a solid thumbs down. All right, I'm gonna figure out how to cancel my subscription and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, you guys can hang out with me while I try to do this because I'm really bad at using my phone. It says, oh, it says go to iTunes store and then auto renew. I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing right now. It says go to settings, iTunes and app store. Tap your Apple ID at the top of the screen. Oh, view your Apple ID. What? Bitch, I don't understand. I just want to be charged $4.99 a week for this app. I took her to my penthouse then I freaked it. I haven't made my mind up. Should I keep it? I put a Rolls Royce on my wrist. Oh, yeah. Fuck this baby mama. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to figure this out. I'll see you guys later. Bye.